Hey guys, welcome to Retro Bliss Gaming. Today I'm doing a review of the Atari 2600 homebrew game, Space Battle. The story of Space Battle is, the intergalactic treaty of 2345 has been broken by a race known as the Gorn. You are on patrol in the Gamma Sector of the Dynibian Cluster when you receive a distress call from the Earth Outpost number four. Your mission is to defend the remote Earth Outpost. In space battle, you must defend a remote Earth outpost from attacking invaders. It's not as easy as it sounds, because before you can even face the enemy onslaught, you must first land your ship on the outpost defense platform while evading an enemy sentry. Once on the platform, then you'll face the first wave of enemy fighters. You'll need to destroy them before depleting your fuel supply. And to keep your fuel supply from running low, be sure to pick up the fuel pods released by the exploding enemy vessels. After you destroy the first wave, you'll then be faced with the two morphing cryolinian destroyers, and they do not drop fuel pods, but they do require several shots to destroy. And should you survive their fury, you won't have time for a break as the enemies will send wave after wave of invaders to test your metal. The idea of this game is a little different to me. Apparently for the exception of the Crylinian destroyers, sometimes enemy ships will release these pods. If they are green by the time they reach you, then they are fuel pods and you should catch them with your fuel ship. The problem is that not all the pods are fuel pods. Sometimes they're plasma pods and will destroy your ship if you let them hit you. It's very hard to make the split second decision or to see the green at the last minute to know if you should try to catch them. Hence from the manual mention that you should refire your missiles when needed, but that your previous missile will be destroyed if you do that. The other hint is to try to catch all the fuel pods when needed and that the plasma pods make different sounds than the fuel pods when they're released by the enemy ships. I think I'm going to have to play this game for a while in hopes that it may grow on me and that I'll be better at it. But it's not a bad shooter and it's worth giving a try. You can download the ROM for free at the Atari Age website as well as purchase the game cartridge there. I'll leave links in the description. Well that wraps up my review of Space Battle. What do you think of Space Battle for the 2600? Let me know in the comments. Please drop a like on this video and subscribe to the channel if you like what you see here. Be a part of our never-ending search to discover all things in retro gaming. Have a blessed day and we'll see you next time.